On November 19, 2024, Lithuanian Defense Minister Lorinas Kasiunas and Swedish Defense Minister Pal Johnson signed a groundbreaking letter of intent in Brussels, marking a significant milestone in bilateral defense cooperation between Lithuania and Sweden. This strategic agreement underscores their commitment to strengthening industrial ties and enhancing defense capabilities through joint initiatives in air and ground defense systems. The agreement specifically includes the deployment of Swedish air defense systems in Lithuania and Lithuania's acquisition of Swedish infantry fighting vehicles, fostering a deeper and more effective collaboration in defense. A central component of this partnership is the introduction of Swedish air defense technologies to Lithuania. Sweden, renowned for its advanced military systems, offers capabilities such as the RBS-70NG portable surface-to-air missile system and the RBS-98, which utilizes the IRIS-T missile. These systems provide effective protection against aerial threats, addressing Lithuania's critical need for improved air coverage amid increasing tensions in the Baltic region, particularly with Russia's heightened military activity in the Kaliningrad enclave and the Baltic Sea. Lithuania's interest in Swedish air defense technology is not new. In December 2023, Lithuania finalized contractual terms to acquire the RBS-70NG system. By July 2024, these systems were ordered under a framework agreement with the Swedish Defense Material Administration, FMV. The latest agreement builds on these earlier milestones, solidifying the growing partnership between the two nations. Another key aspect of the cooperation is Lithuania's acquisition of CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles, produced by BAE Systems Haglands. These state-of-the-art armored vehicles are valued for their modular design, high mobility, and robust protection. Already used by several European armies, the CV-90 has proven its effectiveness across diverse combat environments. In October 2024, Lithuania formalized plans to equip two mechanized battalions with over 100 CV-90 units, a decision supported by the National Defense Council. The acquisition process also emphasizes collaboration with local industries, ensuring that Lithuania's economy benefits from this defense investment. Beyond procurement, this collaboration highlights a shared long-term vision for sustainable industrial cooperation. Joint research initiatives aim to enhance threat detection systems, transfer critical technologies, and develop customized CV-90 variants tailored to the specific needs of Baltic forces. These efforts not only enhance Lithuania's defense autonomy, but also position the country as a significant regional player in the defense industry. This partnership also has broader implications for regional security. By improving the interoperability of their armed forces, Lithuania and Sweden are reinforcing NATO's eastern flank and addressing challenges posed by an unstable geopolitical environment. Sweden's accession to NATO in March 2024 adds further significance to this collaboration, aligning their defense efforts with the alliance's objectives. Economic growth is another key benefit of this agreement. By integrating local companies into production and maintenance projects, Lithuania stimulates innovation, strengthens its industrial expertise, and reduces dependency on external suppliers. This industrial cooperation also creates jobs and fosters technological advancements within Lithuania. Looking ahead, the agreement outlines plans for finalizing industrial arrangements to incorporate local companies into the projects. The first deliveries of RBS-70NG systems are anticipated in 2025, with CV-90 vehicles expected to follow in subsequent years. Rigorous evaluations will ensure the success of this collaboration while identifying potential areas for further development, such as drones and electronic warfare systems. In conclusion, the defense cooperation between Lithuania and Sweden serves as a model of strategic and industrial partnership. It combines innovation, autonomy, and a commitment to collective security, contributing to stability in an increasingly complex geopolitical landscape. Thank you.